Till now we have discussed about the electric field lines. Further we are going to discuss about the electric field lines. This is the electric field lines for positive charge. This is the electric field lines for negative charge. These are already we have discussed how we draw. This will be able to represent the directions and number of field lines per unit surface area perpendicular to the field lines gives the magnitude of the field lines. So in this way these will represent. But if we have both are the positive charges, then how does their electric field lines? So this is the representation. This is the representation of the electric field lines. If we have both the charges are positive. If we have both the charges are positive. Okay. If we have both the charges are positive, so this is the field lines because the field lines is outward, the field lines is outward, but both the field lines can repel each other and they are going into that direction. This will repel into that direction. But this is a representation of field lines. You can find if you are taking at that point, here the field lines is larger, number of field lines crossing per unit surface area is more. So here the magnitude of the field lines is large, but at that point it is less. So we say electric field magnitude at point A is always greater than electric field magnitude at point B. Okay. The next, how to find the direction at that point? We need to find the direction at that point, so we draw a tangent on this field lines. If we draw tangent on the field lines, then we are getting the direction of the field lines at that point. So this is the first point. The second point, direction of field lines find by drawing a tangent on the field lines. Okay? If we want to find the electric field lines direction at that point, then we draw a tangent. Arrow is in this direction because this arrow will represent the direction. So this is the way. This way. If you want at that point, you can try at that point. If you want at that point, you can try at that point. So in this way you can find. If you want to the electric field lines in this positive positive, so this is the directly. So the direction of the field lines, that means electric field line, by drawing a tangent on the field lines. So we are drawing a tangent and this will represent the direction of field lines. In this way we can find. How do we find the magnitude? Here the number of field lines is larger. Here the number of field lines is crossing through the unit area is less, so here magnitude is less, here magnitude is higher. What is the third point? Third point, if this is a field line system, this is the electric field line system, where is the null point? What is the null point? Null point is a point in the system of charges where net electric field is zero due to these two. So the null point is lies in between these two. So this P is a null point. Null point is a point where net electric field due to system of charges is zero. Okay. But sometimes the null point is stable. Sometimes null point is unstable because null point have some equilibrium. So if sometimes the question is arises this null point is stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium but this question is not arises in this way. If you are placing any charge for that charge, in which direction, in which direction that charge is stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium. Again, I am telling what I want to say to you. For that P point, this is a null point. This is a stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium, 
but in which direction and for what type of charges. If we are placing a charge plus Q, here you place a plus Q charge, if you displace it towards this or towards this, so what will happen? If you place this charge along this and release it, then this charge can repel it this direction and this can also repel it this but this have the forces more. So this will again reaches at the same position. What I am saying? If you displace this charge along this direction, then it will try to regain its original position. That is called static equilibrium. If any charge have a net force is zero but you are displacing it from his point on that direction and if it again reaches and tries to regain the same position then it is called stable equilibrium. So if you displace this charge along this then it will tries to regain its original position. That is called stable equilibrium. So this plus Q charge is stable along this. But if you displace around this, then if you push it here, then it will release force this direction, this will release force this direction and the net force is upward. And that's why along this direction, this charge plus Q is unstable equilibrium. So a charge plus Q is stable equilibrium. along a charge plus Q is unstable equilibrium along this. This is a perpendicular, this is a horizontal direction. So along this, this is unstable, along this, stable. So this is what happened with plus Q. But the same thing, if we are putting here minus Q then, what will happen? Vice versa. If you are placing minus Q then along this, you are getting unstable and along this, you are getting stable equilibrium. So this will happen about the null point. We are going for this. Here the system of charges is plus and minus. This will representation of the field lines, electric field lines. If you need to find the electric field here, you are drawing the tangent. If you need to find here, you are drawing the tangent at the same way. In this way, you are getting the direction of electric field lines. This is all these things are similar. Here, if this is an A, here this is a B. So this is clear for the both, for pick 1 and pick 2, both will same. This will direction of field lines by drawing a tangent, this is also the same. Null point, where is the null point for this? If this is very important. Where is the null point for plus and minus? If both will have, if both will have a same charge, then you can't find a null point for this system of charges. And their null point is at infinite distance. You never find. But if you have, but if you have a this will have like a Q1 and this will have a Q2 charge. So always null point is lies just behind the lesser charge. If this is a Q1, this is a Q2. So null point is lies at this point. In magnitude, this is so the null point is lies here. Null point is lies at that point. 
So in the magnitude, if this Q1 is greater than Q2, this is a negative charge, this is a positive charge. So the null point lies just behind the negative charge. This is a general idea. If you are solving more problems, then you are getting the idea how to find the null point always just behind the lesser charge having the magnitude because how I was arriving at that conclusion, I am going to tell you. This will have the electric field at that point is along this direction, but this will have electric field along this direction. Why? Again, I am telling. This will have electric field at that point. This charge have electric field. This is E2. Due to this electric, this is a positive charge. So at that point, electric field is outward. Positive charge have electric field is outward. So this is a smaller distance. So they have a magnitude along this. They have at a larger distance, but their charge magnitude is higher. So this will also have this. So maybe the E1 is equal to E2 is possible, but in opposite direction at that point only. If you are taking the point here, then this will have this direction and this will have along this direction. But this is already a higher charge and have a lesser distance. Then you never find equality between equal of electric field at that point. Again, I am telling you. If you have an electric field at that point, B point, due to this charge is higher, Q1 greater than Q2, and this distance is smaller, this distance is larger, so due to this electric field is along this direction, so electric field is more due to this than this. So never you find electric field is zero here, so that's why null point is always lies at that point.